Asphalt, also known as bitumen, is a sticky, black and highly viscous liquid or semi-solid form of petroleum. It may be found in natural deposits or may be a refined product. It is a substance classed as a pitch. Until the 20th century, the term asphaltum was also used. The primary use of asphalt bitumen is in road construction, where it is used as the glue or binder mixed with aggregate particles to create asphalt concrete. Its other main uses are for bituminous waterproofing products, including production of roofing felt and for sealing flat roofs. The terms asphalt and bitumen are often used interchangeably to mean both natural and manufactured forms of the substance. In American English, asphalt is the carefully refined residue from the distillation process of selected crude oils. Outside the United States, the product is often called bitumen. Geological terminology often prefers the term bitumen. Common usage often refers to various forms of asphalt bitumen as tar, such as at the La Brea tar pits. Another term, mostly archaic, refers to asphalt bitumen as pitch. Naturally occurring asphalt bitumen is sometimes specified by the term crude bitumen. Its viscosity is similar to that of cold molasses while the material obtained from the fractional distillation of crude oil, boiling at 525 AA degrees Celsius is sometimes referred to as refined bitumen. Composition the components of asphalt are classified into four classes of compounds, saturates, saturated hydrocarbons, thea percent saturates correlates with softening point of the material, naphthene aromatics, consisting of partially hydrogenated polycyclic aromatic compounds, polar aromatics, consisting of high molecular weight phenols and carboxylic acids, asphaltins, consisting of high molecular weight phenols and heterocyclic compounds, the naphthene aromatics and polar aromatics are typically the majority components. Additionally, most natural bitumens contain organosulfur compounds, resulting in an overall sulfur content of up to 4%. Nickel and vanadium are found in the less than 10 ppm level, as is typical of some petroleum. The substance is soluble in carbon disulfide. It is commonly modeled as a colloid with asphaltins as the dispersed phase and molten's as the continuous phase and it is almost impossible to separate and identify all the different molecules of asphalt, because the number of molecules with different chemical structure is extremely large. Asphalt bitumen can sometimes be confused with coal tar, which is a visually similar black, thermoplastic material produced by the destructive distillation of coal. During the early and mid-20th century when town gas was produced, Coal tar was a readily available byproduct and extensively used as the binder for road aggregates. The addition of tar to macadam roads led to the word tarmac, which is now used in common parlance to refer to road making materials. However, since the 1970s, when natural gas succeeded town gas, asphalt bitumen has completely overtaken the use of coal tar in these applications. Other examples of this confusion include the asphalt bitumen of the La Brea tar pits and the Canadian oil sands. Pitch is another term mistakenly used at times to refer to asphalt bitumen, as in Pitch Lake. Occurrence The great majority of asphalt used commercially is obtained from petroleum. Nonetheless, large amounts of asphalt occur in concentrated form in nature. Naturally occurring deposits of asphalt bitumen are formed from the remains of ancient, microscopic algae and other once living things. These remains were deposited in the mud on the bottom of the ocean or lake where the organisms lived. Under the heat and pressure of burial deep in the earth, the remains were transformed into materials such as asphalt bitumen, chlorogen, or petroleum. Deposits at the La Brea tar pits are an example. Natural deposits of asphalt bitumen include lakes such as the Pitch Lake in Trinidad and Tobago and Lake Bermudas in Venezuela. Natural seeps of asphalt bitumen occur in the La Brea tar pits and in the Dead Sea. Asphalt bitumen also occurs as impregnated sandstones known as bituminous rock and the similar tar sands such as in Athabasca, Canada and Utah, USA. The Athabasca tar sands are located in the McMurray Formation, Alberta. This formation is of early Cretaceous age, and is composed of numerous lenses of oil-bearing sand with up to 20% oil. Isotopic studies attribute the oil deposits to be about 110 mile old. 
heavy oil or bitumen deposits also occur in the Uinta Basin in Utah, USA. The Tar Sand Triangle deposit, for example, is roughly 6% bitumen. Asphalt bitumen occurs in hydrothermal veins. An example of this is within the Uinta Basin of Utah, USA, where there is a swarm of laterally and vertically extensive veins composed of a solid hydrocarbon termed gilsonite. These veins formed by the polymerization and solidification of hydrocarbons that were mobilized from the deeper oil shales of the Green River formation during burial and diagenesis. Asphalt bitumen is similar to the organic matter in carbonaceous meteorites. However, detailed studies have shown these materials to be distinct. History, Ancient Times, the Holy Bible mentions at Genesis 6.14 that Noah used bitumen for ark waterproofing in 2370 BCE. The use of asphalt bitumen for waterproofing and as an adhesive dates at least to the 5th millennium BC in the early Indus community of Muga, where it was used to line the baskets in which they gathered crops. In the ancient Middle East, the Sumerians used natural asphalt bitumen deposits for mortar between bricks and stones, to cement parts of carvings, such as eyes, into place, for ship caulking, and for waterproofing. The Greek historian Herodotus said hot asphalt bitumen was used as mortar in the walls of Babylon. In some versions of the Book of Genesis in the Bible, the name of the substance used to bind the bricks of the Tower of Babel is translated as bitumen, while other translations use the word pitch. A one-kilometer tunnel beneath the river Euphrates at Babylon in the time of Queen Semiramis was reportedly constructed of burnt bricks covered with asphalt bitumen as a waterproofing agent. Asphalt bitumen was used by ancient Egyptians to embalm mummies. The Persian word for asphalt is moam, which is related to the English word mummy. The Egyptians' primary source of asphalt bitumen was the Dead Sea, which the Romans knew as Palus Asphaltites. Approximately 40 AD, Diasorides described the Dead Sea material as Judaicum bitumen, and noted other places in the region where it could be found. The Judaicum bitumen is better than others. That is reckoned the best, which doth shine like purple, being of a strong scent and weighty, but the black and foul is naught for it is adulterated with pitch mixed with it. It grows in Phenice also, and in Sidon, and in Babylon, and in Zacinthum. It is found also moist swimming upon wells in the country of the Agrigentines of Sicily, which they use for lamps instead of oil, and which they call falsely Sicilian oil, for it is a kind of moist bitumen. The Sidon bitumen is thought to refer to asphalt bitumen found at Haspia. Pliny refers also to asphalt bitumen being found in Epirus. It was a valuable strategic resource. The object of the first known battle for a hydrocarbon deposit, between the Seleucids and the Nabataeans in 312 BC. In the ancient Far East, natural asphalt bitumen was slowly boiled to get rid of the higher fractions, leaving a material of higher molecular weight which is thermoplastic and when layered on objects, became quite hard upon cooling. This was used to cover objects that needed waterproofing, such as scabbards and other items. Statuettes of household deities were also cast with this type of material in Japan, and probably also in China. In North America, archaeological recovery has indicated asphalt bitumen was sometimes used to adhere stone projectile points to wooden shafts. Early use in Europe, 100 years after the fall of Constantinople in 1453, Pierre Bellin described in his work Observations in 1553 that Pisces Falto, a mixture of pitch and bitumen, was used in Dubrovnik for tarring of ships from where it was exported to a marketplace in Venice where it could be bought by anyone. An 1838 edition of Mechanics magazine cites an early use of asphalt in France. A pamphlet dated 1621, by a certain Monsieur Derenise, states that he had discovered the existence in large quantities in the vicinity of Nifchatl, and that he proposed to use it in a variety of ways a euro principally in the construction of airproof granaries, and in protecting, by means of the arches, the water courses in the city of Paris from the intrusion of dirt and filth, which at the time made the water unusable. He expatiates also on the excellence of this material for forming level and durable terraces in palaces, the notion of forming such terraces in the streets not one likely to cross the brain of the Parisian of that generation. But it was generally neglected in France until the Revolution of 1830. 
Then, in the 1830s, there was a surge of interest, and asphalt became widely used for pavements, flat roofs, and the lining of cisterns, and in England, some use of it had been made of it for similar purposes. Its rise in Europe was a sudden phenomenon, after natural deposits were found in France at Osban, the Parc and the Fuy de la Poix, although it could also be made artificially. One of the earliest uses in France was the laying of about 24,000 square yards of Cecil asphalt at the Place de la Concorde in 1835. Photography and art, asphalt bitumen was used in early photographic technology. In 1826 or 1827, it was used by French scientist Joseph Nika Copyright for Nia Copyright PCE to make the oldest surviving photograph from nature. The asphalt bitumen was thinly coated onto a pewter plate which was then exposed in a camera. Exposure to light hardened the asphalt bitumen and made it insoluble, so that when it was subsequently rinsed with a solvent only the sufficiently light-struck areas remained. Many hours of exposure in the camera were required, making asphalt bitumen impractical for ordinary photography, but from the 1850s to the 1920s it was in common use as a photoresist in the production of printing plates for various photomechanical printing processes. Asphalt bitumen was the nemesis of many artists during the 19th century. Although widely used for a time, it ultimately proved unstable for use in oil painting, especially when mixed with the most common dilutants, such as linseed oil, varnish and turpentine. Unless thoroughly diluted, asphalt bitumen never fully solidifies and will in time corrupt the other pigments with which it comes into contact. The use of asphalt bitumen as a glaze to set in shadow or mixed with other colors to render a darker tone resulted in the eventual deterioration of a good many paintings, those of Delacroix being just one notable example. Perhaps the most famous example of the destructiveness of asphalt bitumen is the copyright Odor Gar copyright records raft of the Medusa, where his use of asphalt bitumen caused the brilliant colors to degenerate into dark greens and blacks in the paint and canvas to buckle. Early use in the United Kingdom Among the earlier uses of asphalt bitumen in the United Kingdom was for etching. William Summons Polygraphies provides a recipe for varnish used in etching, consisting of three ounces of virgin wax, two ounces of mastic, and one ounce of asphaltum. By the fifth edition in 1685, he had included more asphaltum recipes from other sources. The first British patent for the use of asphalt bitumen was Castle's patent asphalt or bitumen in 1834. Then on November 25, 1837, Richard Tappin Claridge patented the use of Cecil asphalt, for use in asphalt pavement, having seen it employed in France and Belgium when visiting with Frederick Walter Sims, who worked with him on the introduction of asphalt to Britain. Dr. T. Lam Phipson claims that his father, Samuel Rolan Phipson, a friend of Claridge, was also instrumental in introducing the asphalt pavement. Indeed, mastic pavements had been previously employed at Vauxhall by a competitor of Claridge, but without success. In 1838, Claridge obtained patents in Scotland on March 27, and Ireland on April 23, and in 1851 extensions were sought for all three patents, by the trustees of a company previously formed by Claridge. This was Claridge's Patent Asphalt Company, formed in 1838 for the purpose of introducing to Britain asphalt in its natural state from the mine at Pyramid Cizel in France, and laid one of the first asphalt pavements in Whitehall. Trials were made of the pavement in 1838 on the footway in Whitehall, the stable at Knightsbridge Barracks, and subsequently on the space at the bottom of the steps leading from Waterloo Place to St. James Park. The formation in 1838 of Claridge's Patent Asphalt Company, gave an enormous impetus to the development of a British asphalt industry. By the end of 1838, at least two other companies, Robinson's and the Bastogne Company, were in production, with asphalt being laid as paving at Brighton, Hearn Bay, Canterbury, Kensington, The Strand, and a large floor area in Bunhill Row, while meantime Claridge's Whitehall paving continue, d, in good order. Indeed in 1838, there was a flurry of entrepreneurial activity over asphalt bitumen, which had uses beyond paving. For example, asphalt could also used for flooring, damp proofing in buildings, and for waterproofing of various types of pools and baths. 
with these latter themselves proliferating in the 19th century. On the London stock market, there were various claims as to the exclusivity of asphalt quality from France, Germany and England. And numerous patents were granted in France, with similar numbers of patent applications being denied in England due to their similarity to each other. In England, Claridge's was the type most used in the 1840s and 50s. In 1914, Claridge's company entered into a joint venture to produce tar bound macadam, with materials manufactured through a subsidiary company called Clamac Roads Limited. Two products resulted, namely Clamac and Clarfelt, with the former being manufactured by Clamac Roads and the latter by Claridge's Patent Asphalt Company, although Clamac was more widely used. However, the First World War impacted financially on the Clamac Company, which entered into liquidation in 1915. The failure of Clamac Roads Limited had a flow-on effect to Claridge's company, which was itself compulsorily wound up, ceasing operations in 1917, having invested a substantial amount of funds into the new venture, both at the outset, and in a subsequent attempt to save the Clamac company. Early use in the United States, the first use of asphalt bitumen in the New World was by indigenous peoples. On the West Coast, as early as the 13th century, the Tongva, Lucia plus or minus O and Shumash peoples collected the naturally occurring asphalt bitumen that seeped to the surface above underlying petroleum deposits. All three used the substance as an adhesive. It is found on many different artifacts of tools and ceremonial items. For example, it was used on rattles to adhere goods or turtle shells to rattle handles. It was also used in decorations. Small round shell beads were often set in asphaltum to provide decorations. It was used as a sealant on baskets to make them watertight for carrying water. Asphaltum was used also to seal the planks on ocean-going canoes. Roads in the U.S. have been paved with materials that include asphalt bitumen since at least 1870, when a street in front of the Newark, N.J. City Hall was paved. In many cases, these early pavings were made from naturally occurring bituminous rock, such as at Ritchie Mines in McFarlane in Ritchie County, West Virginia from 1852 to 1873. In 1876, asphalt-based paving was used to pave Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C., in time for the celebration of the National Centennial. Asphalt bitumen was also used for flooring paving and waterproofing of baths and swimming pools during the early 20th century, following similar trends in Europe. Modern Use Rolled Asphalt Concrete The largest use of asphalt bitumen is for making asphalt concrete for road surfaces and accounts for approximately 85% of the asphalt consumed in the United States. Asphalt concrete pavement material is commonly composed of 5% asphalt bitumen cement and 95% aggregates. Due to its highly viscous nature, asphalt bitumen cement must be heated so it can be mixed with the aggregates at the asphalt mixing plant. There are about 4,000 asphalt concrete mixing plants in the U.S., and a similar number in Europe. Asphalt concrete road surface is the most widely recycled material in the U.S., both by gross tonnage and by percentage. According to an industry survey conducted by the Federal Highway Administration and the National Asphalt Pavement Association and released in 2011, more than 99% of the asphalt removed each year from road surfaces during widening and resurfacing projects is reused as part of new pavements, roadbeds, shoulders and embankments. Roofing shingles account for most of the remaining asphalt bitumen consumption. Other uses include cattle sprays, fence post treatments, and waterproofing for fabrics. Asphalt concrete paving is widely used in airports around the world. Due to the sturdiness and ability to be repaired quickly, it is widely used for runways dedicated to aircraft landing and taking off. Mastic asphalt Mastic asphalt is a type of asphalt which differs from dense graded asphalt in that it has a higher asphalt bitumen content, usually around 7 a euro 10% of the whole aggregate mix as opposed to rolled asphalt concrete, which is only around 5% added asphalt bitumen. This thermoplastic substance is widely used in the building industry for waterproofing flat roofs and tanking underground. 
mastic asphalt is heated to a temperature of 210 AA degrees Celsius and is spread in layers to form an impervious barrier about 20 mm thick. Asphalt emulsion, a number of technologies allow asphalt bitumen to be mixed at much lower temperatures. These involve mixing with petroleum solvents to form cutbacks with reduced melting point, or mixtures with water to turn the asphalt bitumen into an emulsion. Asphalt emulsions contain up to 70% asphalt bitumen and typically less than 1.5% chemical additives. There are two main types of emulsions with different affinity for aggregates, cationic and anionic. Asphalt emulsions are used in a wide variety of applications. Tripseal involves spraying the road surface with asphalt emulsion followed by a layer of crushed rock, gravel or crushed slag. Slurry seal involves the creation of a mixture of asphalt emulsion and fine crushed aggregate that is spread on the surface of a road. Cold mixed asphalt can also be made from asphalt emulsion to create pavement similar to hot mixed asphalt, several inches in depth and asphalt emulsions are also blended into recycled hot mix asphalt to create low-cost pavements. Other uses, asphalt bitumen is used to make Japan black, a lacquer known especially for its use on iron and steel. Asphalt bitumen also is used in paint and marker inks by some graffiti supply companies to increase the weather resistance and permanence of the paint and or ink, and to make the color much darker. Asphalt bitumen is also used to seal some alkaline batteries during the manufacturing process. Production About 40 million tons were produced in 1984. It is obtained as the heavy fraction. Material with a boiling point greater than around 500 AA degrees Celsius is considered asphalt. Vacuum distillation separates it from the other components in crude oil. The resulting material is typically further treated to extract small but valuable amounts of lubricants and to adjust the properties of the material to suit applications. In a de-asphalting unit, the crude asphalt is treated with either propane or butane in a supercritical phase to extract the lighter molecules which are then separated. Further processing is possible by blowing the product, namely reacting it with oxygen. This step makes the product harder and more viscous. Asphalt bitumen is typically stored and transported at temperatures around 150 AA degrees Celsius. Sometimes diesel oil or kerosene are mixed in before shipping to retain liquidity. Upon delivery, these lighter materials are separated out of the mixture. This mixture is often called bitumen feedstock, or BFS. Some dump trucks route the hot engine exhaust through pipes in the dump body to keep the material warm. The backs of tippers carrying asphalt bitumen, as well as some handling equipment, are also commonly sprayed with a releasing agent before filling to aid release. Diesel oil is no longer used as a release agent due to environmental concerns. From oil sands, Naturally occurring crude asphalt bitumen impregnated in sedimentary rock is the prime feedstock for petroleum production from oil sands, currently under development in Alberta, Canada. Canada has most of the world's supply of natural asphalt bitumen, covering 140,000 square kilometers, giving it the second largest proven oil reserves in the world. The Athabasca oil sands is the largest asphalt bitumen deposit in Canada and the only one accessible to surface mining, although recent technological breakthroughs have resulted in deeper deposits becoming producible by in situ methods. Because of oil price increases since 2003, upgrading bitumen to synthetic crude oil has become highly profitable. As of 2006, Canadian crude asphalt bitumen production averaged about 1.1 million barrels per day and was projected to rise to 4.4 million barrels per day by 2020. The total amount of crude asphalt bitumen in Alberta which could be extracted is estimated to be about 310 billion barrels, which at a rate of 4,400,000 barrels per day would last about 200 years. Alternatives and bioasphalt. Although uncompetitive economically, Asphalt bitumen can be made from non-petroleum-based renewable resources such as sugar, molasses and rice, corn and potato starches. Asphalt bitumen can also be made from waste material by fractional distillation of used motor oils, which is sometimes disposed by burning or dumping into landfills. Use of these results in premature cracking in colder climates, resulting in roads that need to be repaved more frequently.
non-petroleum-based asphalt bitumen binders can be made light-colored. Lighter-colored roads absorb less heat from solar radiation, and have less surface heat than darker surfaces, reducing their contribution to the urban heat island effect. Etymology The word asphalt is derived from the Late Middle English, in turn from French asphalt, based on Late Latin asphaltum, asphaltum which is the Latinization of the Greek a one quarter i florin i i plus or minus i i i i, a word meaning asphalt pitch, which perhaps derives from a one quarter euro, without, and i florin i i i i per mil, make four. Note that in French, the term asphalt is used for naturally occurring bitumen soaked limestone deposits, and for specialized manufactured products with fewer voids or greater bitumen content than the asphaltic concrete used to pave roads. It is a significant fact that the first use of asphalt by the ancients was in the nature of a cement for securing or joining together various objects, and it thus seems likely that the name itself was expressive of this application. Specifically Herodotus mentioned that bitumen was brought to Babylon to build its gigantic fortification wall. From the Greek, the word passed into Late Latin, and thence into French and English. The expression bitumen originated in the Sanskrit, where we find the words jachu, meaning pitch, and jachu crit, meaning pitch creating, pitch producing. The Latin equivalent is claimed by some to be originally men, and by others, pixtumens, which was subsequently shortened to bitumen, thence passing via French into English. From the same root is derived the Anglo-Saxon word quidu, the German word kit and the Old Norse word kverda. Neither of the terms asphalt or bitumen should be confused with tar or coal tars. Modern usage In British English, the word asphalt is used to refer to a mixture of mineral aggregate and asphalt bitumen. The earlier word asphaltum is now archaic and not commonly used. In American English, asphalt is equivalent to the British bitumen. However, asphalt is also commonly used as a shortened form of asphalt concrete. In Australian English, Bitumen is often used as the generic term for road surfaces. In Canadian English, the word bitumen is used to refer to the vast Canadian deposits of extremely heavy crude oil, while asphalt is used for the oil refinery product used to pave roads and manufacture roof shingles and various waterproofing products. Diluted bitumen is known as dilbit in the Canadian petroleum industry, while bitumen upgraded to synthetic crude oil is known as syncrude and syncrude blended with bitumen as in bit. Bitumen is still the preferred geological term for naturally occurring deposits of the solid or semi-solid form of petroleum. Bituminous rock is a form of sandstone impregnated with bitumen. The tar sands of Alberta, Canada are a similar material. See also Notes References Sources, Bath Edwin J., Asphalt, Science and Technology Gordon and Breach. ISBN 0-677-00040-5. Forbes, R. J., Studies in Ancient Technology, Volume 1, The Netherlands, E. J. Brill, ISBN A90-04-00621-4. Lay, Maxwell G., The Ways of the World, A History of the World's Roads and of the Vehicles that Use Them. Rutgers University Press, ISBN A0-8135-2691-4, External Links, International Chemical Safety Card 0612, Pavement Interactive A Euro Asphalt, Asphalt Magazine, CSU Sacramento, The World Famous Asphalt Museum, National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health A Euro Asphalt Fumes, A Bitumen, New International Encyclopedia 1905A,